One of the main reasons why I came to see Dr. Angobaldo was uh, because I was not happy with the symmetry of my breast. Um, I do uh, body failure competitions and um, when I lay out, you could really, really see the symmetry of my breast where my left one was a lot lower than my right one. Uh, the implant was very noticeable. Um, and also wearing a bikini to top, you can see that uh, the, left, the left breast was a lot lower than the right one. And so I always either had to pad it or tape it or do something so that it wouldn't be as noticeable. And it was just very bothersome. So the initial consultation with Claudette, she was unhappy with the asymmetry of her breast. She had previous breast implant surgery by a different surgeon several years ago, and she thought that one implant was lower than the other, which caused less fullness in one breast than the other. She was very self-conscious of that. She competes in fitness competitions, and she wanted also to switch out from a saline to a silicone implant. As far as the procedure, uh, pre and post, the pre was uh, very comforting. Um, the staff was wonderful. I never felt nervous. Uh, everything from Dr. A to the nurses and anesthesia was great. Post-surgical, probably two to three days is what I took, and then I was able to get back into my everyday life routine. Claudette is doing fantastic. She is five weeks off from surgery, She's had no complications. She's perfectly symmetrical. She looks fantastic and she sees, I'm gonna free her up to start competing again and working out within the next week or so. Now that I've had the surgery and I'm symmetrical, it's definitely a boost of confidence. I don't feel like, you know, I'm being watched or, you know, I'm, I'm lopsided. So I can't wait for my next competition. Dr. Angobaldo's bedside manners for me and my experience were wonderful. He was very positive throughout the entire process, um, starting from the consultation to the pre-surgical and post-surgical. 